There we go. Alright. So we're going to go back downstairs, talk to Liara. Actually, I... on. Good timing, Commander. We got a yeah, transmission coming I figured that was going to pop up. Top priority clearance. I'll take it in the comm room. So we'll do that in a minute. Let's get this romance going with Liara. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was, but she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. I just found all twenty. Ah, oh, nice, dude. <laughs> interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not. Really okay, I wish I would actually do that, but that, that's never gonna happen. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Well, we don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit a hundred and fifty. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity <laughs> has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I made this guy the freaking uh, war hero one, so he just like a survivor. <laughs> I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you, to understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me, or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit. Your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest, but it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Uh... Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. I mean, I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> we we literally saved her just like not too long ago. <laughs> now it's all like fucking all in love with you and shit, <laughs> or all in love with my character. <laughs> These things never make sense. They just happen. And we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. We also just killed her mother, but all of a sudden she's in love with us, so... <laughs> this is all a bit overwhelming. I am guess that, I guess that's how that works. <laughs> I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. 
I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's let's just talk about something else for now. All right, so we got that all set up. Goodbye, Shepard. Now we're going to just go ahead and bail. <laughs> All right, now we need to talk to Rex. <laughs> Saved her like a day ago on some Ro Romeo and Juliet levels of falling in love. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Except you know the part where we're not going to both die at the end, at least. <laughs> Just going to be me that dies, maybe. <laughs> Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you. But yeah, fucking yeah, saved her. Then you just like, all right, we're going to go see your mother, kill her mother, and then go to her, and then she's like, I, I want you now. <laughs> I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. It, it's great. <laughs> great. Great start to a romance. What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmed. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his... Imagine making like 40k just selling fucking <laughs> species balls. <laughs> you mean threat? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. He was growing hearts inside these people? This whole quest is fucking disturbing as shit. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. I just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. Well, it's not worth the risk. You pursue the vessel and disable it. That's the best choice. They sent the military after him, but he got away just the same. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages died. Still gotta do this at some point, or at least this quest. It's probably gonna be this side quest, and uh. 
freaking Rex of the side quest if that we're going to be doing. Other than that, probably not any of the other ones, except for the bad. DLC. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Even then, I might do the DLC off stream, just because it, it's not that interesting either. It's basically just run, close some freaking mines down, and that's it. You have any idea what happened? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I'm gonna be there when you find him. Alright, got that one going. Oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, Sid. Tell me you didn't hear that. Afraid I did. Oh, shoot me now. One of my sisters. That's Sarah, the youngest. Actually, I probably shouldn't Surprise even be talking to her. her sir. Thought you'd be chatting up. What's her name? To Sony? Liara. Why would Scuttlebutt you that? says you got a bit of a thing. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm So allowed. you are interested in her. Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. What's that? Yeah. You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, fuck Ashley. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why the fuck did I always choose her as the person I went for in fucking Mass Effect back then? Holy shit. <laughs> Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah. She's so fucked up. <laughs> Holy crap. On duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. I was an only child, but I get the idea. At least one of my parents was always on duty. Yeah, military families, eh? With schedules like that, it's a wonder we ever have kids anymore. Things were tense. <laughs> Just we casual were. racism, you know? <laughs> really? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> just like, straight up just like, Oh, no, nah, it couldn't be that you just wanted to date her just because you wanted to. <laughs> it's obviously for alternative reasons. <laughs> I don't remember why I liked her either. <laughs> Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go Yeah, I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. If he really liked her, he wouldn't be. Pushy. Yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you. Do. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, cause he figured it was past time they did the deed. At least Miranda was snarky. Miranda's great. <laughs> there, there's nothing wrong with Miranda. Miranda's like one of the like best ones besides Liara, honestly. Even though the whole, like, getting with Liara is kind of weird, like, how it starts. <laughs> but, like, Liara and uh, Miranda are literally the best. <laughs> At least when it comes to, like, the romances and stuff. You traveled all the way home At least that's my opinion. It was only a dozen light years. Like, a day's cruise. It's not like it was going to earth Like, with Liara, she definitely cares about you a lot. I don't even care about Ashley's dialogue at this point. I'm just want to talk about fucking Liara and Miranda. <laughs> Felt so bad rejecting her in three. Oh yeah, she's like the only one that you reject that actually like really gets emotional if you reject her after the second game. Cause like she actually tears up and shit and like gets super sad. But like every other like fucking character that she can romance in this game. You reject them, they're like, ah, it's all good. <laughs> totally understandable. Miranda fucking gets super depressed and like tears and everything. And then you feel like a fucking asshole, which, well, you honestly should if you do <laughs> romance her and then break up with her. But, uh. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. <clears throat> Better. 
but like Ashley, if you romance her and then reject her in three, she's just like, oh, it's all good. I'll just stare at your ass and all that. And you're just like, all right, I guess that's what this is now. <laughs> Liara, she's just like, whatever about it. She's like, oh yeah, it's understandable. And then Jack is Jack. She doesn't give a shit. <laughs> um, who else is there? Tali, same thing. She kind of just understands. Sister, something else. <laughs> uh, who else is there that you can romance? Actually, I think that's all the romances for Male Shepherd. Well, for Miranda, was like her first love type of ordeal. Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> that that is true. But yeah, still, like, <laughs> pretty much I'll, I'll always say Branda and fucking Liara are probably the best two at this point. I didn't know you liked classical Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. So behave. You mean from wherever we go after? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Everyone has the right to believe what they want. It says so on the Alliance Charter. Only with I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power? Jeez. Yeah, I, I, I really don't know why. <laughs> I, I really don't know why I went with fucking Ashley almost every time. We'll talk later, Williams. I really don't. <laughs> what do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying for me, it's Tally, Miranda, then it's Liara, Jack for me. I, I would never go for Jack. <laughs> that, that, that's wild. <laughs> I'm surprised she's tied with Liara for you. He was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. If I would have to like rank the romances in this game, it'd probably be, uh... Probably be... Lia or, yeah, Liara, Miranda, uh, at least at this point. Uh, Liara, Miranda, Tali. I would still probably put Ashley in front of Jack. And then Jack. <laughs> yeah, so Jack would be last for me. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray, but he couldn't understand. I liked her personality in three, the in three, because she changed the most. The to go to war. Uh, that's fair, I guess. If we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. We told them all to forget about war. Nah, no, no, I, I just can't get with the whole At least Jack and all her and shit. She's while, too fucking wild. Some of the tribes. Coming around. I take it the warlord didn't appreciate no, that. He didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. Uh, Sounds like a trap to me. I you did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. 
But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Alright, well, we got all that one. She went from messed up, broken person to setting out to be a better teacher. Ah, that, that's fair. <laughs> I don't know. J just isn't for me. <laughs> Good to see you smiling again, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. Uh, I don't think I could just get over the first part with Mass Effect 2, where she's like all hella fucking crazy and wild and shit. I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out again. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still me- Yeah, I never romanced Jack, but I liked her story and character growth compared to Ashley, who was always an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Starting to realize that. <laughs> but I think I'd still romance Ashley over Jack, to be honest. What would you need to bring back? Something that would help us better understand the gap. They've changed. Whether that says something about me or not, I have no clue, but that that's just my my whole not thing on that. <laughs> They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never <laughs> went beyond the borders of the village. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. I should go. See you later. Still, though, uh, we're, we're, we're not choosing Ashley. I'm not doing it for, like, my other playthrough, either. Fuck Ashley. <laughs> Wait, we choosing best girl Liara or Miranda? All right, or one of the two best girls? <laughs> yeah, it took us a decade to remember that, <laughs> and for me to actually kind of question like why the fuck I even romanced her every time. time. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I'll take it in the comrade. I, I hella forgot I was already supposed to talk in the comm room. Commander Shepard, yeah, it took me a decade to figure out why the fuck I even did it either. Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. 
The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Alright, cool. Uh... I didn't really have a preference back then. <laughs> Not exactly, at least. I think it was just back then, I was just like, eh, Ashley, kinda hot. Okay, going with Ashley. Didn't really think about the whole personality part. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it came down to, it was just like... Yeah, there's Liara, but... Ashley's pretty much, like, hot, so... I think that's what it was, alright? <laughs> That, that's what I wanted to just go with. That That's pretty much it. I don't think there was any other reason. Because that, that was like all of us. That was like same with Josue and all that. I mean shit probably because now we're fucking just playing this again and we're both like why the fuck did we even go with Ashley? <laughs> message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use... Oh yeah, I forgot there's the whole moon drills. mission too. Is no longer I actually probably should do that too. Probably off stream as well. <laughs> How many casualties so far? Cause all that is is just going to the moon and just blowing up shit. <laughs> Before we realized what had happened, that's when we contacted you. VI support is critical to our military success. They like realizing the best girls had good personalities. <laughs> Not only that, but they actually gave a damn about like Shepard. Like, like okay, so with Liara, pretty much spoiler alert for anybody who's like watching this for the first time, I guess. I probably should say that ahead of time. So, uh, probably want to just mute your, uh, thing real fast. But, uh, basically, Liara fucking brings you, like, back from the grave. She finds your dead body. She saves your fucking armor and shit, or, like, pieces of it. And, like, she brings you, keeps your dog tags and all that for you. And makes sure you come back to life. And, like... Even in Mass Effect 3, she fucking even makes it so that you're, like, pretty much known throughout history, no matter if you guys fail or not, during your mission in 3. Like, she does all that shit for Shepard. And then with Miranda, she, like, starts out really cold to you, but, like, she pretty much starts growing on you and, like, fucking just, like, falls in love with fucking Shepard. And, uh... She basically is, like, super caring and wants to make sure he's, like, pretty much is alive. And, like, she just, like, gives a damn about, like, the whole relationship and everything. Even though she's, like, really terrible at it. <laughs> but, yeah. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail saves aren't responding. <sighs> the VI operates on a... We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answer the council, but you're So yeah, that, that that's the whole thing about the whole best girl stuff. <laughs> and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Okay, let, let, let's finally get to Pharaohs. <laughs> we we've had a long talk about just the uh, best girls in this game. <laughs> Probably not even going to get through all of Pharos. I'm probably going to get like halfway through and probably call it from there, but uh. 
we'll, we'll try to get through enough of it. I think I'll have to uh, do the whole saving the colonist part, like, or the ending part of it, like, another stream. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to keep Liara. She's actually kind of good when you have Singularity. Equalizing interior pressure. I liked how exterior in three Tali, if you romance her, she's like, Logged. she's like the least. Is Wait, what? <laughs> I, I don't understand back. anything you typed, Mark. <laughs> and what's up, Abel? And I liked how in three Tali. Oh God. <laughs> But shit, I forgot how loud that is. But, uh. Thanks, Abel, for the sub. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's because her whole race goes to war, like, constantly. We saw your ship. And like she was like the one who was just like going with the flow of it, and then you like Who's resolve that shit. He's our leader. He needs your help to but she's also death. super extreme. Like when it comes Please, to the Geth, she's all for that fucking genocide bullshit. Actually, you know what, that kind of makes sense why Ashley and her, like, get along a little bit. <laughs> now that I think about it, because they always say that they were, like, sisters to each other. We just go ahead and knock that out. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I'm kind of OP now because uh, I have those freaking rounds against synthetics. Come on. All right. Oh, Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? The one good thing about this whole part is that it's just all action, nonstop, for the most part. Like, just always killing Geth here. Protect the heart of the colony. I almost shot him. <laughs> I have not leveled this up properly. I should be burning through these guys. Actually, I should have probably went to uh, the moon first. So I could get those buffs for, uh, instead of just being a soldier that actually puts it to commando. I probably should have done that first before doing this, but it's fine. Actually, over here. 
I should be running backwards. <laughs> I don't have that health buff yet. Now we can update Fidan and get a vehicle safely out of the Normandy. The Geth base is our next objective. Uh, let's go ahead and level this up again. Um, let's see. Either increase damage or freaking get health up. And yeah, you know what? We'll do both. Do a little bit for our both. And keep on forgetting to level them up too. that going ah let's just max that out for him too uh you know what I might as well just give her all the upgrade stuff because I'm sure shit not going to be using uh, anybody else during this playthrough <laughs> Okay, that's all good. Now we just gotta talk to them and get all the colonist problems taken care of. The tower's secure, thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Help me find what the Geth are after, and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Actually, Abel, since you're here too, I think. I think you're still here, at least. <laughs> Who did you usually romance in uh, Mass Effect? What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. We'll get going then. Good luck. All right, time to get all these side quests real quick. <clears throat> You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back, and if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad, rabid maybe, totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. Okay. I have to go. So, long. so there's that quest. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. If I find anything while I'm Thank looking you, around. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, but I can't stop. The I don't think I've ever found the freaking the power cells for that. Is there anything I can do? I, I like fix the water and the food, and that's it. I never fix their power. <laughs> Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have to go. I wish you luck, Commander. I was told to make my supplies available to you. Let me see what you have. Of course. I... Uh, with this guy, we're just buying his license. That's that's it. We don't really need all the guns here. You know, I do have money for it, but... Alright, time to get confused in this maze, though. So that goes the Skyway, but we're not going to do that right away. Um, we are going back down here. Which one's first, Avery or Pharos? I mean, it's up to you on that one. Personally, I just get Liara, and then okay. I go... Oh, shit. 
I, I go to Fair or go to get Liara first, and then I go to Novaria just to do the whole like dealing with Venezia and all that. But you can do either or first. That it's just my preference is that I choose Novaria after saving Liara. Because uh, the thing with Pharos is that this this part really doesn't really matter to anything, like in in general. You're, you're basically just saving a colony and getting the cipher. <laughs> There's another one. Doesn't look like it's been activated yet, though. We should keep looking. But no, it's up to you. I just go Liara, uh, Novaria, Pharos, then Vermeyer, and then yeah. Because <laughs> once you do Vermeyer, uh. Basically, you're, you're kind of done with, like, all the main story stuff. Or I should say, like, all the, like, things that are important, like, basically you already deal with Saren and, uh, kind of lose somebody from your ship, depending on who you pick. Oh yeah, shit, I forgot to break the jammer. God damn it. You don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be. Anything I shouldn't. No! Ah! That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the not geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the. Ah! I'm trying to get to the. <laughs> Just leave him. He is completely mad. Is there anything I can do to help you? you... Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting. Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Ask Fidan. Ask him about the. Ah! Look out! Ah, uh, yeah, he's still alive. <laughs> Uh, okay. So got that. I know there's a water valve that I'm missing. Don't think I got them all. I think it's on the side somewhere. But, uh, we are going to destroy that jammer if I can remember it in this freaking maze of a map of this place. I always get lost <laughs> in this area. Actually, did I get everything here? Barren meat, I did. Yeah, I got all the valves, okay. So it's just the jammer. I believe it is this one. Yep. And 
there's going to be a bunch of Krogans right here. Okay, I'm just going to back up. Ah, oh, that's some bitch. <laughs> Man, I fucking hate Krogans in this one. They're such a goddamn nightmare. Okay, so that's gone. Should be good with all the side quests now. At least, except for the, uh... Pipe, or the... Not the pipe, but... Man, I already forgot what that chick needs, but... Yeah, that's the only thing we're missing now. Also, the other problem with at least the remastered is that, uh... My allies... Refuse to follow me on this fucking map. Like, they're still all the way over there. I don't know what's with it, but... Yeah. It's only on this, like, one area is that my companions never follow me. Pretty sure it has to do with like the uh, later on with like the ending part of this, but still a pain in the ass. Okay, let's go talk to these guys real fast. Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. It won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Let's talk about Zoo's hope. Of course, and Commander. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. That would be he Ian. He's very sick. Uh, he seems to be more than just. He hasn't sick. been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Should I? Don't you have medical supplies? Something I wish it was that simple. Ian was a. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it. Anymore. I'll talk to you when I learn more. All right, Hello let's again. get this quest clear. I killed the big Varen. The rest Excellent. Of the I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. If not. And talk to her. The water started running. Now we just need to deal with the Geth, and we can. Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank you again. Alright, let's get to the sky tower. I think that's what it's called, sky tower? Yeah. Or skyway, there we go. And now 
out to the guest base, not something an intelligent game would typically say. Man, I'm doing terrible at killing these guys. God damn it, how am I overheating it? About, worry about the ones in the tunnels though. That's uh, fine. They can just stay in the tunnels. Nah, Garrus. We, we talked to everybody. As much as we don't want to. <laughs> John. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard. I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. By Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They survived, but the Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, She's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Stay bunkered down until I find a Of course. And please okay, now I go talk to this guy for his little quest. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Sounds easy enough. What's the no catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not. People are quick to assume we enjoy being in hazardous situations. It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth them. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here. Time to get moved. Just keep in mind what I said. Ah, oh, shit. No, no, nope. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. <laughs> that did nothing for me, but... Oh god.
Damn it, why do I keep trying to drive backwards? I don't want to do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot those are all juggernauts right there. Did, did it just knock itself out? Be lazy about this part right here. Instead of going in, I'm just gonna light all these guys up. Because there's like no reason not to, since I get like full XP with this. I think there's probably still a couple more alive in here, but. Not really as much of a problem. Go ahead, cheese this. <laughs> Alright. Now we walk away from the cheese. <laughs> trip down, As you can tell, my, my uh, two companions refuse to come down with me. Probably going to get teleported here in a minute, though. safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed to back up data. The next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? I have never heard of such a thing. It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, you don't have to tell me get through all this dialogue. I'll just find a small hole to hide in. Actually, what time is it? 4:40. Take my ID. This should get you past any. Uh. Good luck with that field. Should I just call it here after I clear all these guys? That's that's the main question here now. Was going to keep it till five, but I also this is actually taking more time than I thought it would for like to clear through Novaria and all that stuff. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll just call it here because I know if I do this, it's going to be like another hour. <laughs> So uh, let me go ahead and do all this stuff. 